This is a live channels television event. The commander, sir, Cheta Commander, sir, Operation Lafayette Dooley, Major General Loki Rabo, Component Commanders, Order Principal Staff Officers, Headquarters Theater Command here present, General Officers Commanding 7th Division and 8th Task Force Division, Formation Commanders and Commanding Officers, Senior Officers, Gentlemen Officers, Members of the Press, Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I am Lieutenant Colonel Kingsley Samuel, the Deputy Director of Army Public Relations, 7th Division. I have the honor to welcome you to Headquarters Theatre Command, Military Command and Control Center, Operation Lafayette Dooley, for Theatre Commander's live press conference today, 1st March 2017. As you may be aware, the military has been consolidating the peace in the Northeast theatre of operations. Distinguished guests, in line with the theatre's commander's modus operandi of constantly briefing the press, we are gathered here today to keep the public duly abreast with development in the theatre. It is now my honor and privilege to respectfully invite the theatre commander Operation Lafayette Dole to kickstart the press conference at this moment. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the theater commander, sir. The general officers commanding, of course, the representative of uh, the Air Component Commander, Principal Staff Officers from the Theater Command, other commanders here present, our last officers, ladies and gentlemen of the press, good afternoon. Let me once again welcome you to the Theater Command and to please request for your understanding that some of the pictures we may view today might be a bit disturbing. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure this afternoon to welcome you to Headquarters Theatre Command in order to update you with the progress of Operation Lafayette Dole. Our gallant troops have continued to consolidate the peace and so this brief will touch on some of the operations and other related issues that we have carried out since our last meeting. The details are as follows. Clearance operations. Our troops have conducted some clearance operations during the period under review. On the 1st of February 2017, at about 0950 hours, own troops cleared Boko Haram camp at Dusala, where six Boko Haram terrorists were killed and items recovered, as you could see on the screen, include one light machine gun, two RPG tubes, as well as one anti-aircraft gun with extra barrels. And thereafter, our troops also came in contact with the Boko Haram terrorists at Bok, where a firefight ensued. And sadly, in that firefight, we lost three soldiers and five others were wounded. Furthermore, we uh, recovered Boko Haram terrorist equipment, which included nine AK-47 rifles, three FN rifles, two RPG bombs, one mortar tube, one shield gun, one gun truck mounted with anti-aircraft gun, as well as two Hilux vehicles, as you could see right there on the screen. On the 7th of February, own troops successfully cleared Ngwaumari, Bulabure, Chongolo, Ghana, Seraja, Anzai, Nkusa villages. 
troops in that operation encountered Boko Haram terrorist elements at Chongolo, Ghana village. And of course, they were cleared successfully, and 13 of the Boko Haram terrorists were killed. And uh, some of the equipment that were recovered included arms, ammunition, vehicles, motorcycles, as well as uh, bicycles. And of course, we rescued five women and 15 children who we suspect to be the family members of the Boko Haram terrorists. Their pictures are right there on the screen. On the 21st of February, on troops cleared Mandaka and Lemu villages, which was, of course, on our way to Gata village. The advancing troops encountered and killed two Boko Haram terrorists at Gata, while a member of the vigilante, of course, that also was with us, giving us some um, route guidance, was wounded in action during that operation. Items recovered from the insurgents include a list containing names of suspected Boko Haram terrorists, as well as an IED vest, two solar panels, four, a, a, a Boko Haram terrorist flag, four copies of the Quran, a national ID card with a name on it, as well as a voter's card. A total of 59 women and children suspected to be held captive by the insurgents were rescued during that operation. And of course, currently, they are being profiled. Own troops also, in conjunction with the vigilantes, commenced advance on the 19th of February 2017 at about 0700 hours and successfully cleared Butari Kura, Bulambulin, and Bi Atasha, and Toro villages. Others include Gaul, Zindia, Baburu, Manguzum, Talala, Ajigi, and Doksa. The troops cleared the villages. And unfortunately, we lost a soldier, while three others were wounded. And of course, uh, many of the Boko Haram terrorists were killed, and we recovered items such as assorted ammunition, Boko Haram flags, gained some holy books, a Motorola radio, a, uh, two grinding machines, five ding guns, an FN rifle magazine, as well as a packet of Magi. Others include um, camouflage jungle hats, um, and as well as other uniforms and accoutrements. On the 22nd of February, at about 0830 hours, troops carried out a sweep along Damasak, Gashaga, Griwan, Gritu, Jabulam, Abadam, and Malamfaturi. As you know, we have troops in Malamfaturi, in Damasak, and of course along the Aziz to Zari, uh, Gudumbali. But of course, that triangle, we felt that we needed to, from time to time, dominate. So that this sweep operation, of course, is in that direction. And, um, and uh, during the operation, of course, we made